ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by as ever. I do appreciate it. Um, as we get going on these videos, before we get into the main meat and bones of what we're going to talk about, if you are new to the channel, if you could hit the subscribe button, um, if you could also like the video as well, that would really help algorithm wise. And if you've got any comments or there's anything that you would like to say, just pop it onto the uh, comment section in the video as well. Uh, and like I said, it just helps overall with the with the algorithm and getting the video out there for people to see it and everything and stuff like that. So I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I didn't do my usual midweek video, but that was just busy with work. But yeah, another good result at the weekend. If we didn't play as well... I think that's a fair assessment of how it actually went. I think overall Blackburn were a a decent side in terms of their their setup and their play. It's quite clear what they were trying to do. They were trying to spring us. They were trying to do the thing where they they set up to sit a little bit deep, almost not really deep defensively wise, but deep as sort of just in a slightly deeper role and spring traps that's what they were looking to do that's what they were always looking to do in terms of pulling us forward and, and getting going and they did it a couple of times we we did all right we didn't have um any difficulties i would have thought in terms of the way that that everything was kind of playing and and going forwards and everything we scored at the right times in the game dan james another fantastic goal for him really well done rutter <laughs> That little bit of skill, skill um, that he did just to get away from that player. He just, I don't know what he tried, but he got it completely wrong. Um, came away with the ball because he's moves like Bambi, has the strength of a bison. Um, and just played in a really good ball for Dan James. And Dan James has scored that type of goal many times this season. So really, really pleased for Dan James. Again, I've I've had a couple of conversations with people about Dan James and for me I thought he was trekked quite poorly last season in terms of you know sending him out on loan to Fulham and everything and all of that kind of stuff and it's amazing how good he can be when he's actually got a decent coach behind him um Marsh makes me physically sick to say that man's name but Marsh didn't know how to how to deal with him as a player I don't think didn't know how to use him as well and fair play to James he's kept his head down he's got on with it he he's done really really well it was probably again not his brightest game um the same with Somerville as well but again there are two most dangerous players um Peru overall a little bit anonymous in the game I think um didn't do too bad but that kind of that anonymity I'm going to try and say make sure I can say that word probably went a long way to showing or to to kind of just so you could see how um the midfield battle was kind of being lost a little bit Kamara and Ampadu did okay not brilliant but that little bit of defensive shield that Peru normally gives wasn't there as much and Clearly, Ampadu and, and Kamara, not Gray, I said Gray, didn't I? Ampadu and Kamara were um, a little bit leggy, I think, in this game in particular. Uh, and just overall, it, the, you could just see. And that, that thing with Peru's sort of being anonymous sometimes for periods of games is... It's, it's not a concern because we're playing well and the team picks itself, but it's just something to look out for. And that's not me having to go at Peru at all because he's a phenomenal player. He's brilliant. When he's on it, just that little turn, that little bit of quality, that little bit of touch, invariably he'll get a shot off on target. Had a good free kick that had it not been for probably a strong gust of wind would have actually gone in, but you know it is what it is. Somerville's goal was, was brilliant as well. Just that little outward play that we had and moving forwards, the one-two between um, Gray and Rutter was was brilliant. And the outside of the ball foot to Somerville. And Somerville did a really, really good job of keeping himself on side for that goal coming through. And just the finish was just the finish of a, of a player that is just having his best season going. It's just a really, really good season for him so far. So I'm really, really pleased for him. I was pleased to see Matteo Joseph get some time. It was nice to see Jed Spence come in as well. 
it was really funny because a lot of people on Twitter were going, well, that's it, he's crap, he wasn't paying attention, he wasn't doing this one. Look at him get a bollock in for Far Cry, I don't want to see it. Farker does that with everybody. And you've got to remember, Spence hasn't played for ages. Wait until he gets up for speed. There were some nice touches from him and some nice movement from him. And overall, I was impressed. Um, Rodon is just Rodon all over. If we, and I'm probably going to be sounding like a broken record here, but if we do not sign him permanently in January, that's a big mistake for me. We need to make sure that we sign this guy in January because that partnership that he has with Strike is just brilliant. Melier with a really good save at the end as well. Wafted a couple of punches. There was a couple of times he punched the ball where he could have caught it at corners and stuff. And I just kind of think, so if you, wouldn't you be better off just catching that rather than just trying to lump it out and punch it out? I don't know. It's just one of them, you know, weird situations. Again, I don't think we played particularly brilliantly, but that's the makings of a really, really good team. And had it not been for the minor indiscretion against Rotherham, that would have been eight wins on the bounce for us. We're playing very, very well. We're a very, very difficult team to play against now, I think. I think people have an idea of what they can do to try and get at us, and they think it's going to work until they actually play us. And then there's a big, big difference. Our attack in front four is ridiculous, and the fact that we can bring Nonto on, who played probably better than what I've seen him play for a little while, that shot come triple deflection save thing was was unlucky from from that point of view but but being able to bring Nonto on and then being able to bring Anthony on I mean that's got to be when you see that as an opposition team of those players coming on that that can't be you know confidence inspiring or at least you'd hope that it wouldn't be um one of the things that I will note is is that it was quite clear from very very early on that Blackburn were going to be kicking lumps out of people, which is what they were doing. They were very, very physical. But they are a good team in terms of their passing ability and the way that they pass out and everything. It's just their level of inconsistency that they have. And mildly toothless up front is probably the right way of saying it. They didn't, for all of the possession that they managed to have, and they had more possession than us in the game, they didn't do a lot with it. And I've said this before, I'll say it again, it's nice to have the really dominating stats when you win the game and this, that, and everything else that goes with it, but stats only tell you 20 to 25% of the actual game itself. It's not how long you have the ball for, it's what you actually do with it at the time when you do have the ball. That's just my opinion on it. But yeah, on to Sunderland uh, Tuesday. Should be an interesting game. One that we should win, but watch out for Jack Clark coming back to haunt us. We'll we'll just have to wait and see. I'm confident. I'm enjoying watching us at the moment. Long may it continue. And yes, if Ipswich and Leicester could stop being Ipswich and Leicestery, that would be really, really good. But again, you can't really focus on on that just yet. We've just got to keep doing what we need to do, which is winning games. We're above the two points per game, which should technically get you promoted. But, you know, it might just be one of them really odd seasons where the top two are just absolutely floating it. They haven't had their blip yet. And no team goes through a season in the championship without having a little bit of a blip. And the game between Leicester and Ipswich is going to be very, very easy. And then we've got to play Ipswich at Ellen Road, which we we need to win that game 100% well we need to win every game really just to you know to keep the pace on and everything but yeah that's it that's going to do it for this one happy boy again good game even though we weren't at our best it was one of those very kind of easy not easy easy is the wrong word we were almost in autopilot a little bit and for me that's the mark of a good side is that being able to play not at your top tier, but still have the quality within the squad to be able to pull something out. And that's what we had against Blackburn. So yeah, three points and we keep on marching on. That's going to do it for this one. Like I said previously, if you are new to the channel, if you could hit the subscribe button. If you've liked the video, press like. If you've got any comments that you want to make, please also put some comments down in the comment section below. And um, yeah, that'll do us for this one. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Cheers. Bye.